Hello students, I am Teacher Anne, and welcome to What Can Oak School YouTube channel. Today, we are going to learn about types of friction. Everybody say types of friction. Very good. Are you ready? That's great. Let's start. This is the vocabulary for today. Repeat after me. Static. Static. Kinetic. Kinetic. Texture. Texture. Smooth. Smooth. Rough, rough, weight, weight, heavy, heavy, light, light. Great job, everyone. These are the sentence structures for today. Repeat after me. Question number one. What are the two types of friction? Answer. Question number two. What are the factors affecting Friction. Answer. Good. I have a question. Hmm. What is friction? Again, what is friction? Answer. Very good. It is the force that opposes the motion of an object. Nice one! There are different types of friction. Let's read. Types of friction. Number one, static friction. Again, static friction. Number two, kinetic friction. Kinetic friction. Hmm, what is static friction? Let's find out. Static means not moving. Again, static means not moving. Static friction is a force that keeps an object at rest. Let's read. Static friction is a force that keeps an object at rest. Like for example, for this example, this man is trying to push the box. However, the box is not moving. Still, there is friction and that's what we call static friction. These are examples of static friction. Let's read examples of static friction. A paper on a table. Again, a paper on a table. The paper is not moving. Next, a car parked on a hill. 
Let's read it again. A car parked on a hill. Very good, everyone. The second type of friction is kinetic friction. Everybody say kinetic friction. Kinetic means moving. Again, kinetic means moving. What is kinetic friction? Kinetic friction is a force that acts between two or more objects that are in motion. Let's read it one more time. Kinetic friction is a force that acts between two or more objects that are in motion. Look at this person. <laughs> For example, look at the animation. This person is trying to push the box. And the box is moving. Therefore, kinetic friction is present. Okay, these are examples of kinetic friction. A moving car. Let's read. A moving car. Next. Pushing a sofa. One more time. Pushing a sofa. Wow, very good everyone. Friction depends on two factors. Again, friction depends on two factors. Hmm, what are these factors? These are number one, texture. Texture. Let's spell it. T E X. T U R E texture number two weight weight let's spell it W E I G H T weight for texture we have smooth Smooth. Let's spell it S M O O T H. Smooth. Rough. Rough. Let's spell it R O U G H. Rough. Very good. For weight, we have heavy. Heavy. H E A V Y. Heavy. We also have light. Light. L I G H T. Light. Number one, texture. Texture. Here we have a smooth surface and a rough surface. We also have two cylinders. Let's see what happens when these cylinders roll on different kinds of surfaces. By that video, we can say that 
the smoother the surface, the lesser the friction. Again, the smoother the surface, the lesser the friction. And the rougher the surface, the stronger the friction. One more time. The rougher the surface, the stronger the friction. Very good, everyone. Next, weight. Weight. Here we have two blocks. The first one is 40 kilograms. The second one is 100 kilograms. These blocks are placed on a smooth surface. Let's see what happens when these blocks are pushed using the same force. By that, we can say that the lighter the object, the lesser the friction. Again, the lighter the object, the lesser the friction. Well, it's easy to move light objects than heavy objects. The heavier the object, the stronger the friction. Let's read it all together. The heavier the object, the stronger the friction. So this is the end of the part two of our topic about friction. And thank you for listening. Goodbye.